This is the split squat and tie rotation press. The entire rotation comes from the band. The band is going to create a force on the outside trying to twist us into its direction. As much as we want to try to resist it, to maintain a proper posture where we're square all the way through without giving into the band, we want to be able to manage a press and good core control and body control over the external pressure tension. So, you can have, in this case, you can have your front foot going forward to assist with the end time addition, so the stability of your core, and you're gonna move your back foot back. Also, every time you press, any type of pressing, if it's in a split squat sense, you wanna have your back foot on the side that is pressing. Okay? It provides your support as you activate through your glutes. It will allow you to manage better control and erect in a better position without having to arch or hyper arch in your lower back. So my back foot will provide back support. I'm gonna push my glutes. I'm gonna bring the band in, create that rotational part. I do not want to give into it. My hip, okay, push either way. I don't want to move my body into the band. I want to make sure I'm squared. Center, I'm gonna press straight up in a straight line, and I'm gonna come back down as much as I can, moving that straight line pattern. Okay, my axis is straight up and down. I do not want to deviate. I want to make sure I'm improving that shoulder mobility. As I get to the top, I want to stack up my shoulder over the top of my ribs. It almost says like the waist pulling back, I'm gonna come back down the same way I came up. 